The cap off this year's West Coast swing the up and coming stars in a NASCAR Xfinity Series head over Rattlesnake Hill and into the Diamond State as the Phoenix Raceway hosts race number five in its 2021 season. This is your full race preview video of everything to expect from the 2021 Call 811 before you dig 200 live from the Phoenix Raceway. Let's have a look at your point standings following last Saturday afternoon at Las Vegas where A.J. Allmendinger rolled to his first win of the season in the Call of Grace 16. That driver now sits at sixth spot in the standings. Leading the way, though, defending series champion Austin Sindrick holds a 21-point lead over Daniel Hemrick, last week's runner-up. His JGR teammate Brandon Jones sits at third in these standings, 51 points behind the leaders. And then it's the pair of college cars without a win, Jeb Burton and Justin Haley, 58 and 63 points behind, respectively. As we mentioned, our teammate AJ Allmendinger has that win, but he's sixth in the standings. Mike Snyder right behind him, another driver with a win, picking it up at Homestead. He sits at seventh. And defending rookie of the year, Harrison Burton in that Joe Gibbs Racing 20 is your eighth place standings driver just 71 points back of the series lead now let's have a look at your tv schedule where the 811 call before you dig 200 takes the green flag on saturday march 13th 2021 at 5 30 p.m eastern time live on fox sports one now let's have a look at your 40 driver nascar xfinity series entry list for jd motorsports circle tennis chevy's looks like this driving in a ksdtcpa number zero this is jeffrey earnhardt been in the series sim seating number four we have driver landon castle driving in the big hose number six a brand new sponsor for driver Ryan Vargas, and in the Project Hope Foundation number 15, we have driver Colby Howard. Junior Motorsports brings their quartet of Chevys to the track like this. Driving in a pile of flying J, number one, the fret, Mike Lynette. Then for the brand professional agriculture, number seven, former winner here, Justin Allgaier. With a brand new paint scheme on the Chevrolet accessories, number eight, this is late model standout Josh Berry. And in the Bass Pro Shops Black Rifle Coffee Company, True Timber, number nine, driver Noah Graxon. For our motorsports, their duo of Chevys looks like this. Driving in the Chevrolet accessories, number zero, two, this is Brett Moffat. And making his NASCAR Xfinity Series debut into number 23, driver Blaine Perkins. Richard Childress Racing brings the Tax Slayer, number two of driver Myatt Snow. Snyder and his Chevy. And then for BJ McLeod Motorsports, their trio of entries looks like this. In the JF Electric, number five, driver Matt Mills. Then in the Scuttle Tight, number 78, driver Jesse Little. And in the SoCal Digital 99, this is Stefan Parsons. SS Greenlight Racing brings the Easy Grills number 07 Chevy with a brand new sponsor for driver Joe Graff Jr. And then for the College Racing Stable, their trio of Chevys looks like this. The Chevrolet Accessories number 10 has driver Jeb Burton with the Leaf Filter Gutter Protections number 11 seeing Justin Haley and an Ellsworth Advisors number 16 last week's winner, A.J. Allmendinger. MBM Motorsports brings their duo of entries like this. Driving into Rayum Rivers Racing number 13 Chevy making his NASCAR Xfinity Series debut. This is Loris Hesmans. Driving into number 66, Crash Claims RS Toyota Camry. This is Timmy Hill. Rick Ware Racing brings to Work Pro Tools number 17 Chevy of veteran JJ Yaley. And then for Joe Gibbs Racing, their quartet of Toyota Supras roll like this. The Poppy Bank number 18 has last week's runner up Daniel Hemrick still looking for that first win. Then in the Toyota number 19, your defending race winner, driver Brandon Jones. For the Dex Imaging number 20 runner up here in this race a year ago, defending rookie of the year, this is Harrison Burton. And driving into Pristine auction number 54. He's your winner at the Daytona Road Course, making his second start, looking to get his second win. ARCA winner here last fall, driver Ty Gibbs. Team Penske brings new sponsor, used car parts, to the number 22 Ford of defending series champion Austin Sindrick. And then for Sam Hunt Racing, driving in a Toyota Racing Development number 26 Toyota, we have Santino Ferrucci. DGM Racing has their trio of Canadian Chevys they like this. Driving in a Can-Am number 36, it's Alex LeBay. And in the Badger Excavating number 90, we have Dexter Bean. And in the Star by Star Tron, number 92, it's driver Josh Williams. Ryan Sieg Racing brings the CMR Construction Roofing, number 39, Ford of owner driver Ryan Sieg. And then for the Martins Motorsports Gang, in the Red Angus Beef, number 44, Diamond Gusset Gene Chevy. This is the Gene Machine of Tommy Joe Martins. Mike Carmen Racing has the duo of Chevys like this, driving into number 47, it's driver Kyle Weverman, and at the wheel to 74, Bailey Curry. For Big Machine Racing, driving into Big Machine Vodka spiked to number 48. It's driver Jade Buford. And then for Jeremy Clements Racing in the Southern Pacific Funding, number 51, owner driver Jeremy Clements. For Means Motorsports in the Panini Trading Cards 52, we have driver Gray Galding. And then for Atoria Racing, driving in the Whataburger number 61, this is David Starr. For Brandon Bill Motorsports, driving in the Mike's Hard Lemonade, number 68, owner driver Brandon Brown. And capping off our entry list in the Monster Energy, number 98, Stuart House Racing Ford, this is driver Riley Herbst. 
Now let's have a look at your Speedway Collective fantasy picks, a pair of drivers out of each category that I expect to bring home solid points to your fantasy team. In the A-class, I can't go wrong with defending race winner Brandon Jones. Been off to a stout start to the season so far. Phoenix, one of his best tracks on the calendar. He might just break through and get that checkered flag. And Harrison Burton, in the number 20, had a pair of strong runs here last season. He might just be able to park it in victory lane for his first win of the season. In the B-class, Mike Snyder drives that number two Chevy, a top 10 finisher here a year ago in that Richard Childress Racing 21 car. Let's see what he can do. Already locked in with the win at Homestead. Riley Herbst drives in that number 98. Last season, he was here in the Joe Gibbs Racing number 18 to finish top 15 in both races. So keep an eye on what Riley Herbst can do after what's been a rough start to the season for him. The C-Class, you can't go wrong at all with driver Ty Gibbs. What have we said about him that hasn't already been said? In his debut race at the Daytona Road Course, he picks up his first career win. Now, as the defending ARCA winner here, he rolls into Phoenix in his second start in that 54 car with a lot of momentum. And let's see what he can do. Might just be his second career win from your C-Class driver. Brandon Brown drives in that number 68 Chevy. And while he's fallen off a little bit these past couple weeks, he is still off to a strong start on this 2021 campaign. He looks to turn his luck around here at Phoenix. And in the D-Clash, Josh Williams in at number 92. The top 15 finisher here last season. Very strong track here for Josh Williams. Let's keep an eye out on that DGM racing entry. And for BJ McLeod Motorsports, Jesse Little in at number 78. Last year in that JD Motorsports car, he too brought them a top 15 performance. Now let's have a look at your race stats. So I headed to call one 811 before you dig 200 live from the Phoenix Raceway, where the field lines up to go. 200 laps, 200 miles are on the one-mile Phoenix Raceway. Stage 1 and Stage 2 are 45 laps apiece. The final stage is 110 laps, and your defending race winner is Brandon Jones. So don't forget to catch the 2021 running at 811. Call before you dig 200 live on Saturday, March 13th, 2021 at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, this live on Fox Sports 1. Thank you guys so much for watching this NASCAR Xfinity Series race preview video. For more motorsports content, check out my newest video by clicking on the left. Hit the circle in the middle to subscribe. Check out the video on the right. It's one you don't want to miss. You can follow me on Twitter at Kemo Cupsters. With another NASCAR race preview video, this has been Kemo on YouTube saying thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next motorsports video.